Hey out there, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We'll be playing the final chapter of Batman the Telltale series tonight. I'm really excited about it. This has been a fun game so far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it ends. Good to see you over there, Metali, Tom. Great to see you over in the uh, in the chat. Glad you can make it tonight. This should be fun. Up to this point, we've had a wild ride with Batman the Telltale series. We've had Bruce Wayne kicked out of control of Wayne Enterprises, committed to Arkham Asylum. Penguin's back in town. Harvey Dent's turned into Two-Face. Catwoman's on the scene. A group called the Children of Arkham are destroying the city. And spoiler alert, their leader is Vicky Vale, a.k.a. Vicky Arkham, I suppose. Um, everything is, uh, is kind of wild here. And it's playing around with Batman mythos in some kind of fun ways. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's been fun getting a chance to share it with y'all. I'm really curious to see how this final chapter wraps things up, if they're really able to stick the landing on it. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Episode 5, City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose, and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. Sounds good to me. So let's get rolling with episode five. I'm guessing we'll probably start with the cinematic. I'll try to stay quiet through that, and then uh, we'll jump into the game. Thanks for joining me tonight. As always, the game seems like it's about to crash when trying to load a new episode. Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bats attention. <laughs> Wasn't ready yet. <laughs> I barely made that one. Batman sighted, boss. Right on top. Like we does the Wonder Woman move. But that miss. Mission, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. Ooh. Fight scene to start. I like this. Batman! No! It's a trap! Oh no. suit oh no police chief grogan nice drop kick you have to stop them save our city <laughs> hey, Mr. T.L. Wolf. This is all Batman's fault. Commissioner! He's... He's gone. Alright, rough start for the episode. Batman fails. Child got...
garbage tent. Alfred, I use my oh, flip phone. Thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent. Have I not noticed up until this point in the game that Penguin Batman uses a flip phone? Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? <laughs> What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on them, they'll go easy on you. Hey, go brush the I don't need toys to deal with the likes of you. You sure about that, Batman? Because from the look of it, you could use a little help. Ta-ta, Batman! Uh-oh. No, no, come on, just stay put. Never. Oh, quick time event my way out of this. I've yet to find a problem I couldn't press Q or E to solve. If I could just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. Gash. Look at it. He's made improvements. <laughs> even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech. In Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. I mean, honestly, in most people's hands, it's kind of a dangerous weapon. The shell is much tougher than the original model. What is Penguin gearing up for? Batman's drones were only for peaceful purposes. Now the penguin has corrupted that. Capable of firing armor piercing rounds. These could tear the city apart. Let's tear out. Exposed wires. Oh my god, that happened. I never learned. Let's plug this into my Nokia flip phone. Anything? I want the entire anti-bat arsenal. Another trap. One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that, the bat suit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face the Wayne Penguin Memorial Auditorium. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable, but far mm. from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin wants hostages to bait Batman. Bruce Wayne will be the perfect hostage. You can get close and strike when he least expects it. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. I don't think Penguin does know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> Thank you for slapping that sticker, Tom. And I don't know why they didn't deploy everything at once. I guess for dramatic Lieutenant, reasons. these officers are at risk. Penguin is- Wayne, get back! I bet Bruce found like a dog in the for this. Martinez! I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. Transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-fifth thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. 
But there's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you going to do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Oswald and I grew up together. A little trip down memory lane could buy you at least a couple minutes. That's all well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. That's a great I'm point. out of options. Curse Lache. Surely she will I'll go in around him. the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. As always, Telltale knows how to reuse some assets. We've been to Cobble Same Park. device that fried the suit. Cobble Pop Park before. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. We've tried nothing. We're all out of options. Absolutely. Okay. Uh oh. Just keep walking. Surely these drones wouldn't shoot a billionaire. Yeah. That was the, that was the answer to the puzzle. Push W. My money will save me. Ooh, baby Bruce. I hate them, Bruce. I really, really hate them. Making fun because my mom. Because she's an Arkham. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces! Stop us, please! <laughs> I'll smash all the dumb faces! All right. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got away in Cobblepot Park. <laughs> Oswald! Bruce! Welcome. The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure. I love the mask. It's so good. Such a great take on Penguin. Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too... Come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. <laughs> Great Still, vocal performance, I'm too. I'm chuffed you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Might Maybe be closer than you I'm think. Because of you I must screens. say that because it's so ridiculous. Maybe he's closer than you think. Just waiting for his moment to strike. Handsomely. Oh, we'd know if he was. I've arranged quite the sounding light show for his arrival. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, <laughs> and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just him. using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in this very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? 
I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Okay. Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. Oh, the monocle's good, yeah. Look at that. And the umbrella. Like we've got full-on penguin now. Damn it! Where the hell is he? He's easily so bloody trapped. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. Why, Oz? Are you scared of Batman? Might be, if I weren't so certain of my upper hand, as it were. <laughs> Not that you can't look after yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some Piss issues me off. There. Hey, Bruce. I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged. And you? And me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. <laughs> and it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal a fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide. The way it's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Come on, Gordon. Enough of this. You try to get me all shaken up. I'm not waiting any longer. Batman be damned. There you go. We're done chatting, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. Your make mother deserved our gun. I'm going around this park. And then on to the rest of this bloody city. Hey, we are not done here, Oswald. Oh, yes, we are. We've been done for 20 years. He's on to you. Is that... Uh-oh. I knew it. Lieutenant! Oh, no. That cat blew up there, I think. Don't know when you die, do you? Savings and drones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, throw the cobble pot. Bruce, you bastard. The ironing is delicious. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <laughs> Is that all you got? Heard him. Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. I dropped a statue on you. Freedom is right. Have the dignity of someone crushed by a statue of your own father. I'm gonna make sure that bastard never sees the light of day. You did your best here, Mr. Wayne. Gotham and the GCPD owe you. Thank you. I'm sorry that people got hurt. Oh no, we're included. dropping frames. That's part of the job. One of the hardest parts. You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. He just might. Wow, it took us all the way till now to get the title, huh? This may be a big episode for the finale. Alright, so that's one problem solved.
Back in the back cave with her gamer chair. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the bat cave, but it also scrambled our system. The bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. They did do it with cool Batman moves. So you know. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became... Shut up, Alfred. ...wasn't by choice. And me. <laughs> Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, Tom, you're right. This is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You yeah. did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises. CEO access. And see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Unfortunately, Tom, I think the only therapists in town are Scarecrow and Harley Quinn. So, uh, and I guess maybe Hugo Strange. So it's really slim pickings. Oh wait, how about Chase Meridian? Wasn't that uh, Nicole Kidman's name in Batman Forever? I can't believe that's still kicking around my skull, but I think it was Chase Meridian. <laughs> She was a therapist. Damn we it. have some options. Still it's probably the best line. of the bunch. I need to get this working again. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Oof, we're see a what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just... Uh -huh. See what he was doing. Batman face palm. <laughs> oh, I want my Windows folders to have little penguins on them. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it is Comic Sans. <laughs> That's really good. That penguin's a real joker. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of 
tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. <laughs> A secret island plan. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. Oh, I was in power. You have to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Uh, at least he stuck with just Comic Sans. It could have been much worse. You're right, Mr. D.L. Wolf. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Uh-oh. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some well but colorful diseases. <laughs> Annoying, but not hard to fix. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's better. It's <laughs> so the worst thing that Cobblepot can think of to give him a degree in sociology. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate dishonor. Welcome to the social sciences, Batman. Hope you survived the experience. Well, no surprise here. Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. <laughs> I like how angry everyone is about these, like, minor inconveniences when the city's under siege. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. Of course. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Okay. Let's click on some more folders. What do we have here? Mm. They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check <laughs> her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Investigate Oswald Cobblepot to determine his connection to Vicky Vale. Anything else in the records? Doesn't look like it. I don't know why it hasn't gone away yet. Hmm. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Mm, gamer chair disengaged. Vicky Vale, mid 30s, reported for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. He's one to her talk. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky Vale. Who can ignore a newspaper journal. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. 
So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. I think the database management behind this all checks out. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. I've got biscuits. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. <laughs> but without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, <laughs> she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. For the biscuits in your pocket. It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. <laughs> it's a good sticker, right? <laughs> she stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna trust Catwoman. I'm sure she does. The device she stole, it's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. Please. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Until you say please, Bruce. I'm glad you like the biscuit sticker as much as I do, Nick. Nice audio pan. Damn it. <laughs> hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly, my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So oh, much Batman potential. Punch you. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. <laughs> a thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. <laughs> Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. Oof. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. 
Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an <laughs> act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. <laughs> Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. A bat skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. <laughs> Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? But because we had a sleepover, we're best friends. Yes. Is that, that what you really friend. thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Batman desperately Look, needs Bruce, a friend. I'll admit that what you and I had, it wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. That heartbreak incoming. That job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That'd be great if she did That's swipe right. it back. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why because I love it? you. Wow. You saved my life. That's you could have made me die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good my person. My new girlfriend. That's who. A hero. I love you, Catwoman. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Let the moment pass. <laughs> Let the moment pass is a great dialogue well, option. It's been fun. Bye, Selena. See you around? Maybe. I still really dig the noir style graphics. I'm glad I went with that option. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I- Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but- Alfred? Alfred! Bruce has a smartphone, but Batman has a flip phone? What does this all mean? Alfred! It's been a rough time for the Wayne family. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. I love the idea of Batman going to, to the Verizon store. Figure out what happened here. They tell him, like, oh, you got two you more months before you can upgrade. 
So, sorry, Mr. Batman. You still owe $84 on that device. <laughs> Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. I saw a new promotion online. I'm sorry, Mr. Batman. That's only for new customers. I want unlimited plus. Ooh. Sorry, that's only for new customers. What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. I paid for the extended protection plan. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? What possibly could cause a scuff mark in this room that's been torn asunder? Busted face. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Not even this vase that I love so much. I'm guessing this has nothing to do with one another, or does it? Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Wow. Game over, Alfred. Wah, 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 wah. Pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Curious. I wonder if this blood spatter or splatter on the uh, on the pool table could have anything to do with it. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. I do like these crime scene investigation scenes. I think they're a good use of the telltale engine. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. Ash. But that didn't stop him. He used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Too bad he wasn't a vampire. Or was he? Does Alfred know something we don't? Ah, uh, fire poker. Hmm. Probably has something to do with the fireplace. How the hell? Do... <laughs> I like that he's not trying to help Alfred. He just wants a better idea of what happened here. I'll go chase after him later. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham, but she knocked it aside. I know what happened. All right. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads well, and stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. doesn't belong there. 
curious. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah, Alfred oh, did really well. Hats off to Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. <laughs> you have no idea. Hmm, we now have a password. Alfred absolutely could have been Batman if he was 30 years younger. Like a well-adjusted Batman. In a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. What's peace, left of him? Bloody peace. Ah. Alfred. Oh my Ooh. god. Alfred is paying for the things my family has done. I'm responsible for this. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Alfred could have been back. Alfred. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think. Lucius has time for you this. Yes, enhance. You're at time. Let's get a closer look at all this. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Mm, look for clues, you say. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. <laughs> hey, downhill note. Good to see you. Welcome. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay. Must be the one Looks we like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. I like that the boxes are a hot spot that reveal nothing. Ah, water heater. They're in a place with hot water. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing Some else to see here. detective work. Moving on. Articulated bat brows. Mason stamp. That is a high quality reflection in those glasses. The Mason stamp. Only one Masonic lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. <laughs> so the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. <laughs> okay, I think great. we have enough to pinpoint a location. I bet you do. Well, let's hope. Use reticle to select filters. Basements. Air These are the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Am I really just going to click all of these things until I get a result? Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. <laughs> That's a good point. Why, now that we know it's on a bus stop, why waste gas? If I can get the bus line from this. But no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. 
inspect the remaining locations. A corner store? That seems unlikely. That would be so good for Batman just to <laughs> roll up on the bus. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. Oh, wow. Where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually. Ooh, I guess she'd be back in an environment they'd already well, created for an earlier times. episode. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. You're not going to believe this. It has a basement. <laughs> Can you imagine the technology that would be necessary to create a house with a basement? All right. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. Pseudo. <laughs> this ends tonight. Sins tonight. But he can't go in there. What? <laughs> I thought for sure that would stop it. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I like basement vision here. I'm all right. More traps. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. This kind of looks like by. my streaming setup. Maybe a little more blood on the walls here. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Ah, I didn't know that. Same uh, box in this and Arkham Knight. We can't be far behind them. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged down. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. They shrunk there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. They flat Stanley him. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Maybe they're remodeling. Now let's <laughs> find out what the veils were finder. We already had the bat stud finder and it just turned up Harvey. It's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Call out or pull? Should we announce we've arrived? Hmm. Call out. Hey, it's me, Batman. Anybody down there? Alfred! It's possible. He was hit over the head and has amnesia and doesn't remember his name. I just hope they took that off before they put Alfred through it. 
mouse closet. I'm going inside. <laughs> this, this, this is a mouse closet. Great point, if you think, Dag. This is a nice secret closet. Hmm. children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. True, Alfred seems to be pretty good at that. Wow, she got the creepy doll. What are we going to use the doll for? Disturbing. Disturbing. <laughs> Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. On a doll. Bad news. Hey, my bot just reminded me. Uh, there is a merch store if you want to buy your very own Biscuits in Me Pockets merch. Burn the doll. Yeah, destroy that thing. I recently received my Biscuits in Me Pockets magnet and have proudly displayed it. On my refrigerator. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. And had to explain it to my daughter, who was unimpressed. <laughs> Alfred's glasses. Hmm. He needs those to see. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. <laughs> The chalk here is different, newer. Must be Alfred's blood, or it could be anyone who's down here. The world doesn't revolve around you. He probably smelled it. He probably knows what Alfred's blood smells like. <laughs> One piece apart from the others. Purple. Hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... <laughs> the same color as my tag. That drawing looks like Alfred. Does it? The highlighted words read to Arkham. They took Alfred to Arkham. Is that what they're telling us? Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He's modified one of her own Lady Arkham drawings to include himself. And these two words. To Arkham. The chief. Going to Arkham and she's taking Alfred with her. That's Ladies the and gentlemen. Piece. The world's greatest Arkham. detective. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. <laughs> Two Arkhams, <laughs> and they're going to Arkham. He figured it out. Oh, it would be a great plot twist if it turned out Alfred and Lady Arkham are working together. Normally that would seem far-fetched, but honestly in this game, that wouldn't shock me completely. Hey, Tip Mia, how are you tonight? Uh, 
Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Yes, yeah, split up. A wise choice. <laughs> Don't say copy, say over over. This ends now, Vicky. One Tell guy? me where Alfred That's all one guy? Is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his people. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. Oh, she He'll doesn't know? Dead soon. Another she corpse knew. in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. <laughs> you have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Vales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's run out! You're wrong! Alright. Vicky! Good chase through the hallways. There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Uh-oh. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Shifty, Batman. Shifty. <laughs> Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out of here. Not me. Uh-oh. Here we go. Back gurney. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> With one gurney. Oh. Uh, poor Harv. systems offline every inmates loose the leader of the children of Arkham did you see her <laughs> they went his commitment to calling her Vicky. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm doing on the fly beatdowns. Cafeteria tray strike. Uh-oh. Joker's probably eating popcorn watching this. That sounds exactly right. Okay, what are my options here? We've got a chair and a door. Have some fun with the chair. I think he'll do like some tables, ladders, chair kind of thing. 
Uh oh. Ooh, he has a taser, eh? Let's see what happens with that. I like these things. The plan of attack scenes. Uh oh. Then. Ooh, let's link Lady Arkham to a light fixture. See if we can shed some light on this mystery. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Took too long. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a timer. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's not easy to die in a Telltale game, but here we are. <laughs> You're not getting away, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you, Tom, for slapping the burn of sticker. Okay, let's see if I can move through this just a little bit quicker this time. Okay, we decided, let's mix it up. Link two, there we go. Him to the kitchen. <laughs> Link him to this chair. Nothing like a folding chair move. Hit him with the international object. Taser to this guy because I really want to see Batman jam a taser in his face. I gotta look so cheery. Okay, and Lady Arkham, you get the light fixture. Let's see if it works this time. Ooh, look at that move. This is gonna be good. Pleasure to see your work in person. <sighs> of course. Jesus. <laughs> you absolutely did call it. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Okay. Joker was just watching it all. It's perfect. Batman just like gives some side eye to Killer Croc. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> Ah! I do like that he keeps using Alfred's full name. Oh. 
Hmm. Catacombs, you say? Vicky! <laughs> Vicky! Show yourself! <laughs> He simply Pain must. for Thomas Wynn's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. How soon if do we think really Catwoman will show up? Butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. Good question. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards <laughs> right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. I thought she did too, but I guess not. Alright. Let's be sneaky boys. Ooh, there are traps in the catacombs. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're I like the voice performance the for Vicky. Fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. Bruce? He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. I guess she didn't know. <laughs> Getting too old for this. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Ooh. The mask is a symbol. Some Bats. fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Auspicious place to arrive. <laughs> Alfred Bennyworth. Hold on, Alfred. You, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man. Man, I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. You think Alfred uh, just expects this to go? Uh -oh. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. 
For someone you've never met before. Maybe you were a butler once. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Remove Cal or attack Vicky. Remove Cal, attack Vicky. I'm gonna do it. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Must be some kind of trick. Mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. We <laughs> got Freddy Farkas. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is it your death? Great to see you. You're here just in time for the fun. Thank you for the support. Lost. Forgotten. 
Buried and Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wade bloodline end here. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Oh, wow. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. <laughs> Selena. <laughs> With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. But that would very you, good postcard. None of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. Yeah, he should... We will get through this, Bruce. He's gonna get plastic surgery. Don't lose sight of the fact He's a billionaire. that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon... Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact <laughs> as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. 
And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Oh. It's doing my job. Thank you. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. This is my last big As decision. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name. Get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Okay, Perhaps gang. Perhaps one is truly the mask. What do we one think? One is who you truly believe you are. Bruce does seem to make way more sense. But you gotta be Batman. I mean, that's what Tom told us earlier. Always be Batman. Ben votes Batman. Always be Batman, says Grayson. Thank you again for that sub, by the way, Grayson. Batman. NBA DAG is Batman. ABC. Always be... See you later, Batman. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like we've got overwhelming support for Batman. I agree. Bruce makes more sense, but... Fun being Batman because I can like swoop around and like do cake flourishes and things like that so Bruce to recover the work with the company yeah I get that angle like I said I think Bruce makes more sense Batman might be more fun yeah that's a good question I don't know usually these games don't really do save points yeah you kind of play through and have to do a whole new playthrough to get the other option usually unless this one has a built-in see what else happens let's try batman and then we'll see if it gives batman us a checkpoint we can go back to you'll make <laughs> quite the impression batman will be in attendance alfred rsvp for batman newly appointed acting police commissioner james gordon who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon, it doesn't sound right. Batman! Batman. Can't wish Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. <laughs> Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. Everyone but Bruce Wayne. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, I always wanted this, to be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. Oh, he did the thing. He did the thing. I should probably be used to that by now. You just got Batmaned. You know, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. <laughs> he wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching. Ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. Ooh, like the gang city of heroes. Strong and hopeful. What? 
That's true, Batman could be commuting from out of town. Montoya. Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. <laughs> Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, that's our setup for part two. And that is episode five, City of Light. We did it. Did you successfully distract Penguin? No, nope, I wasn't good at that part. <laughs> I really blew it. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? Only 68% comforted Al Alfred, huh? Wow. I figured that would be like nearly 100. How'd you respond to Selena? You and 91% of players regard Selena as more than a thief. That checks out. Her character is pretty fine. I'm not surprised that other players responded to that. Wow, most players took off the cowl. That one kind of surprises me. Oh, and only 38% showed up as Batman. Bruce was the more popular choice. Interesting. Batman season overview. Oh, this is interesting. Your Batman slash Bruce was merciful. It takes heroic restraint when dealing with criminals, keeping oneself from taking it too far or inflicting unnecessary pain and suffering. 56% cunning, 76% collaborative, 86% compassionate. I kind of like that. I like that we had a way of scoring our Batman. 100% Batman speedrun, 80%. Just like in real life. All right, and that is it for Batman the Telltale series. This was a lot of yeah, Go to your local library and learn more about Batman. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. I'm actually doing something kind of fun this week. Um, you see P.S. Garrick there in chat. If you aren't following him already, please do. He and Turtle Tomorrow, Grayson, and uh, and their compatriot Sarah will be streaming tomorrow night uh, Quest for Glory 1 VGA. Starting that game off for Adventure Tuesday, then I'm going to come back on Wednesday and also play Quest for Glory 1 VGA. We're going to have dueling Quest for Glory 1 VGA streams uh, over at P.S. Garrick's channel. They are going to be playing uh, a thief, and I will be playing a wizard. So it's going to be uh, all kinds of fun. That's like, <laughs> there's, yeah, there's all kinds of fun stuff coming up. So please, everybody, be sure to follow T.S. Garrick if you aren't already, and then tune back in Wednesday for Quest for Glory 1. And then next week, I think I'm going to be back with another game I didn't know I owned showcase on Monday night. So all kinds of fun things coming up. But uh, yeah, thanks for dropping by, everyone. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching along. Thanks for the comments. Have a great evening, and I will see you again soon.